Hello guys, Roxy here. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so at the very beginning you want to find the moment where you get the kill. Trim to the start and put it pretty much to the beat of the song. For me, uh, I didn't put a song so I'm just gonna put it at the 20 second mark. And then I can drag it back, so I have the rest of the clip. You also want to mark uh, 30 frames before the, the, the kill, and also 80 frames before the kill. Then you'll need to add some Twixter. Key mark the speed. Go at the 54th frame and put it to 100. You will also need to put the first frame to 100. Then go on the 59th frame and set it to 50. Then 11th frame to the right and set it to 20. And at the penultimate frame set it to 230. Then add color character secondary. Don't forget to save. So, yeah. So you want to go to custom. Click on the black pencil thing. And select the color. I choose blue, but you can do whatever you want. Then copy what I do. You can mess up with the uh, center if you want it to be less or more blue, just like you want. Then you want to add again color, color character secondary. You want to animate saturation and gamma. And at the 47th frame, put a marker. Go 2 or 3 frames to the right and set the saturation to 3. And set the gamma to 0 0.2250. Then on the penultimate frame, you want to put it back to normal. So 1 and 1. Then you want to add again character, color character secondary. Set the rotate HUI to like 160. So we have it, so we have it red. But you can choose any other color. You can mess up with the saturation if you want. Then you want to add some dissolve shake. Make sure they are both in reflect. Animate amplitude and frequency. Self dissolve amount to 0 0.230. The Amplitude to 4 and in frequency to 20. And then this thing to 2.50. Then go 24 frame in and set it to 0. Then you want to come here on the pan crop section. Go on the 49th frame and put a marker, set it too fast on the, with the right click. And then go on the penny ultimate frame and press control and drag this thing to the top. So you will have some black bars. And we are done for the first part for the pre effect. If you want, you can also add some pre shake and some other things like that. And now, now I'm gonna add the glitch overlay which will be in the description. Just press U and delete the audio. Insert a new video track. Do like shown. You can, yeah, trim start. Then press Ctrl 
and drag it to the left so it, it, so it is faster. I think it's a bit fast, too fast now. So I'm just gonna drag it a bit to the right and trim the end. And then you want to decrease the opacity to like 50. Then you can add pretty much what you want to the right clip. Uh, if you don't know what to add, uh, I have some presets in my editing pack. Uh, the link will be in the description. And now we are gonna do the sound effect. So here I'm gonna add a tag shutty sound. I'm also gonna add a shockwave kind of sound. Yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.